Hey guys, quick tutorial today. I'm going to show you how I do clay or grayscale renders. So if this is my final render, what I mean by a clay render is something like this where you remove all the textures. So I'm going to quickly show you how to do this. And at the end, I'll explain why you might want to implement this into your workflow. Let's get straight into it. So there's two ways of doing this. One is in your active workflow and one is as your final render. If you want to put clay into your active workflow, which by this, I mean your IPR, you turn on your render and then come to this little hollow circle there's a drop down menu and you can click clay and this will turn on clay for your ipr the second way of doing this is for your final render so if i turn this back to regular and then go up top left for our render settings if you go redshift and then system and material override there's a little enable button if you are running a newer version of redshift this material override will be in a legacy section so instead go redshift system and look for legacy and you'll find material override so if I enable this, we will now see a clay render. But when I render this out as a final render, it will be clay as well. Diffuse color underneath is, is so if you have any blown out lighting, you can turn the color to something a bit darker and you don't get these really intense bright spots. So now that I've explained how to do it, why would you want to do it? First of all, having clay in your IPR just speeds up the render. You can work on lighting and composition uh, with a much faster IPR. If you're working with clay as a final output, there's a very good reason I use this. If I have a client come to me and say, I want an animation of so-and-so, and I go and create this animation and I add some textures to it, my render time could be quite long. But if I turn on clay render and render out my animation in clay, I can take this back to the client and they can approve of the animation before I invest large amounts of time into rendering it with full textures. Say they could say, oh no, I don't like this animation. Well, I could go back and change it. Um, and again, rendering out much quicker with clay and take it back to them. So hopefully that's a good reason for you to implement it into your workflow. And hopefully this is helpful. Thank you for watching.